Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering up from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bolenbach, and today we'll relive the Voyager's grand tour through the solar system. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are twin NASA spacecraft, launched about two weeks apart way back in 1977. These probes were only built to last five years, and their primary mission was to study Jupiter and Saturn up close. The spacecraft were performing so well that NASA engineers later extended their missions because they wanted to venture further out into the solar system. The Voyager program took advantage of a unique alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, which only happens once every 175 years. This made it easier for the spacecraft to efficiently visit each subsequent planet. Engineers used gravitational assist from each planet to redirect the spacecraft, which increased their speed and saved on fuel. Now, almost 40 years later, both Voyagers are still operating. With a combination of both their individual missions, these craft visited all the giant outer planets in our solar system, revealing new and exciting information about their magnetic fields, rings, and moons. Thanks to the Voyagers, NASA was able to observe Jupiter's multicolored bands and giant storms in unprecedented detail. The probes also discovered volcanic activity on its moon, Io, which was the first time active volcanoes were seen on another world. As Voyager 1 was inspecting Saturn, it flew past Saturn's moon Titan and discovered that it has an extremely dense atmosphere. This makes viewing its surface in visible light impossible, which means Voyager had to rely on its atmosphere-piercing infrared cameras to map the moon's surface. The spacecraft also found that Titan's atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen, like here on Earth. After its trip to Titan, Voyager 1 found that Saturn produces more heat from its atmosphere than what it gets from our Sun. Based on that measurement, scientists later determined that Saturn produces excess heat as helium in the atmosphere sinks toward its core. After they visited Jupiter and Saturn, scientists sent the two Voyager probes off in different directions. From Saturn, Voyager 1 climbed above the plane of the solar system. Voyager 2 was directed on to explore Uranus and Neptune, and to this day, it is the only spacecraft ever to accomplish the feat. Voyager 2 found a magnetic field around Uranus and discovered 10 of its moons. During its Neptune flyby, researchers also discovered three rings and six previous unknown moons. As Voyager 1 was zipping out of the plane of our solar system, it captured this incredible image of Earth in 1990 from a distance of almost 4 billion miles away. This image was named the Pale Blue Dot and popularized by Carl Sagan, who gave us the insight that Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Today, more than 40 years after their launch, the Voyagers are still paving the way for future probes to follow in their wake. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed into the Heliosheath, a turbulent region where the steady outward flow of the solar wind is stirred by external cosmic forces. Thanks to their onboard magnetic field and particle detectors, the Voyagers are currently exploring the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space. This is called the heliosphere, a spherical boundary encompassing the sun. This region is still influenced by the sun's magnetic field and solar wind. Though mission controllers have shut down most of the Voyagers' instruments over the past several decades to help extend their lives, Incredibly, both Voyagers are expected to continue returning data to us for at least another decade. That's when their power sources finally run out of juice. By the time the Voyagers had flown by Jupiter and Saturn, they'd already sent back enough information to rewrite textbooks. The fact that they continue to operate has only further revolutionized our understanding of the solar system in new and unexpected ways. What's more, 
Each spacecraft carries a greeting from the people of Earth to any extraterrestrial life form that might bump into one of the probes during their adventures outside of our solar system. Both of these Paramount spacecraft have spent their lives exploring new and uncharted territory, and for as long as they can, they will continue marching onwards, because the universe sure won't slow down for them to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.